Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Snook with uh, section 10.2, areas of trapezoid rhombuses and kites. And our objective today is we are going to find the area of trapezoid rhombus or kite. Uh, we've already done area of parallelograms, triangles, squares and circles, and we've also done some irregular shapes where you can add these um, shapes together. You could play that game with a trapezoid. You could, if you wanted to, divide a trapezoid into two triangles and a rectangle, and then find the area of each of those um, sub areas. But an easier way to do this is with the formula. So area of a trapezoid is one half the height, which is right here, times B1 plus B2. Since you've got two bases in a trapezoid of two different lengths, what you're actually doing with the one half and adding them is you're actually averaging those bases together and then you multiply by the height. So let's go ahead and do an example of this. So here I have a trapezoid and I have some information about different lengths. I'm going to use the formula, so A equals one half height times base one plus base two. So what I need to do is know height base one and base two. Once I have those three quantities, I can just plug them in and have my answer. So looking at my diagram, B1 equals four centimeters. That's right here, here's B1. B2 on the bottom is 8 centimeters. Now we have a problem here. We're not given the height. I'm going to go ahead and sketch it in. This comes down perpendicular. And this right here, that length is going to be the height. And it's not given to us. So we're going to have to figure that out. We're going to use our skills from chapter 8. I'm going to go back to our trigonometry and figure out how to get the height. So I'm going to redraw the triangle. This is 60 degrees here. This is 6 centimeters, and the height is over here. So I just took this in green and redrew it over here. So here's the angle I'm coming from. Across the triangle is H, so that's opposite. The six centimeters is opposite the 90, so that's hypotenuse. And remember, I'm going to use so ka toa to choose my trig function. I have opposite and hypotenuse, so that is sine, that's so. So sine of 60 equals H over six. Now I can solve for h. h is going to be 6 times the sine of 60. I'm going to grab my calculator. 6 times the sine of 60. I get 5.19615242324223. For the purposes of writing it down, I'm going to round it. Uh, we have whole numbers here, so going one more significant figure makes this 5. 0.2 centimeters. Now when I do my calculation, I'm not going to type in 5.2. I'm just going to use the number that's already in my calculator. So now I'm all ready to plug in. One half, my area, 5.2. But like I said, I'm not actually going to type in 5.2. I'm just going to use the one that's already in the calculator, plus 4 plus 8. So when I do that, times 0.5, times 4 plus 8 is 12, I get 31.1769, when around that to 31, I round off the 7, so I get a 2, and the units are centimeters, so this is centimeters squared. Remember your units. So that's all for trapezoids. Now the next one we're going to do is the rhombus and the kite. And the neat thing about them is they both have the same formula. It's one half times the diagonals, just the product of those diagonals. So one half D1 times D2. 
So in our figure here, D1 is the blue diagonal, D2 is the red, and in the kite, D1 is blue, D2 is red. So let's go ahead and find the area of these figures, which means that I need to know D1 and D2. I'm going to draw a separator line between these so that I don't write all over the place. Looking at the kite over here, this one's the kite. I'm going to do that one first. All I know is this one side is six centimeters. And I do know that in kites, the consecutive sides are congruent. So this is where we reach back into chapter six. I know that my um, opposite angles are bisected. So this 30 degrees here gives me a 30 degrees here. Right here, this is marked as a right angle, and because it's bisected, that means this is 45, and this is 45. So what I need to do is find the lengths of these diagonals. And I'm going to start by using what I know about these triangles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this 45, 45, 90 triangle that I've shaded in green. So this is 45 degrees, this is 6 meters. I'm going to call this X, and to show you on the picture, X is this little piece here. And because I know that one of my diagonals is bisected, and down here is also X, which means that when I want to get D1, I'm just going to multiply my two X's together. So when I find X, it's really easy for me to get to D1. All right, so let's do it. Here's my angle, opposite, hypotenuse. So I'm going to say the sine of 45 is x over 6. x equals 6 times the sine of 45. So with my calculator, 6 times sine of 45, I get 4.24264068. I'm going to round that to 4.2, which then means that D1 is approximately 8.4. Now I got to do the same kind of game to find D2, but this time I'm going to use the triangle that I'm highlighting in yellow. I don't know anything about that triangle except my X is approximately 4.2. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw that triangle. This is 30 degrees. Here's our angle. And this side is approximately 4.2. Okay, so now we need to find the length of this side. That gives me the length of y in the kite, and then I can find d2, which is going to be x plus y. So for finding d2, here's x. I'm going to find y. And I just add those two together. That gives me the length of the whole um, diagonal in the kite. I already have x, so let's figure out what y is. So right here, here's the opposite side. Here's the adjacent. So then tangent of 30 is going to be 4.2 over y. And then when I solve this, I'm going to get y equals 4.2 divided by tangent of 30. Just a little shortcut here. You can swap the positions of those two and get this. So now 4.2 divided by tangent of 30. And y equals... 7.27. So then just add x and y together. So d2 is going to be 4.2 
plus 7.27. So D2 is approximately 0.2. So I'm getting 11.5. Now I've got D2. Let's go back to our formula, 1 half D1 plus D2. So the challenging part on this problem is using the trigonometry to then um, to uh, know the lengths of the diagonals. So area equals 1 half D1 is our 8.4 and D2 is 11.5 so the area for this kite is 48.3 I'm getting 48.3 Let's see what our units are. Units are meters. So this is square meters, or meters squared. All right, let's do our last one. This one's the rhombus. And it's the same formula. Area equals 1 half D1 times D2. And on this one, I know 60 degrees is here. It's a rhombus, so all four of these sides are the same. Rhombus is a parallelogram, so that is 60 degrees as well. We have a triangle here. We know the rhombus, the diagonals make a 90 degree in the middle, so therefore this is 30 degrees. All four sides are the same, so this is 14. And I need to know both of the diagonals. D1 is, the, I'm gonna call that one is the one going up and down. The one going side to side will be D2. I'm going to redraw this one triangle that I'm gonna shade. Just gonna redraw that and use that to find D1 and D2. I'm gonna call this X and this Y. I know this is 14, this is 60, here's our 90, so therefore that's 30. So once I have X, D1 is gonna be two times that X, that will give me the length from top to bottom. Once I know Y, D2 is going to be two times Y, that's gonna give me the length from side to side. So let's find X. I'm going to use the 30 degrees. Now let, let's use 60 because 60 was given. So cosine of 60, this here's adjacent, here's hypotenuse, so using Sokatoa I want cosine of 60 will equal x over 14 and that means that x is going to equal 14 times the cosine of 60 which equals seven. So then D1 is two times seven, that's 14. So I'm just gonna put that right there so that I remember that. Now let's find Y. Using 60 again, Y is on the opposite side. So sine of 60 equals Y over 14. And that means that y equals 14 sine of 60. Grab my calculator for that. 14 times the sine of 60. I get 12.12435565. For the purposes of writing it down, I'm just going to round to 12.1. Now to do the area. Well, let's take a, our answer and double it because we need 2y. So d2, I get 24.2. And then area is going to be 1 half d1 plus d2. So area is 1 half. Did I say plus times? d1 times d2. d1 is 14. 
D2 is the 12 point, sorry, 24.2. And just leave that number in your calculator. And all I gotta do is hit the times button, 0.5 for one half, and then times 14. And when I do that, the um, answer for the 24.2 is automatically pasted in for me. So my total area is 169.7. We don't know what the units are, so this is units squared. Okay, that's it for our video. Uh, when you're working on your assignment, make sure you are using your trigonometry as necessary and use the formulas that are given. So don't try to use an old technique. Uh, for example, an old technique might be take this rhombus, calculate the area of one triangle, and then multiply by four. Just use the formula. Hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Mrs. Snook. Peace out.